If you could prevent date rape, would you do it? Hopefully the answer is yes, and somebody is trying to figure out a way to do that. Mike Abramson, my pronunciation is awful today. Mike Abrams, Abramson, holy cow, who is a 2005 graduate from Worcester Polytechnic Institute in Massachusetts, is developing something that he's calling Drink Savvy. And what this would do, it's a series of cups, uh, stirs, straws. Uh, straws, all kinds of stuff like that, that would actually change color if a date rape drug was added to that drink, which I think is a really cool idea. Yeah. Um, so he he's developing this. He, he himself does not have any sort of chemistry degree or anything like that, but he's developing it alongside another WPI professor named Dr. John McDonald, and they're trying to find a material that will change color if that happens. Now, it would specifically check for GHB, ketamine, and rohypnol, now, I think it's yeah. a little bit sad that we live in a society where you even have to develop something like that, that you would, that you would need a, a changing color glass or stir or straw yeah. or whatever to make sure that you're not going to get date raped. He said, in the past three years, three of my close friends and myself have been the unwitting victims of consuming an odorless, colorless, and tasteless drug slipped into our drink. What do you think about yeah, just the importance of developing some sort of technology like well, that? Well, I, I totally agree with you that like it sucks that we live in this world, but we live in this world. Mm -hmm. And they say here that uh, according to Department of Justice, four percent of all sexual assault victims are are drugged during the the sexual assault. And so it's it's awful that that happens, but it's also great that we live in a world where we have the technology to, to potentially do this. So they, they point out that we already have pills that you can put in that detect the presence of GHB, um, but nobody who's out drinking is going to be putting pills in right. each one of like well in each one of their drinks. So it's great that this is like a sort of a passive monitoring thing. Uh, it says that it tests and retests the drinks throughout the night so you can use one cup and you don't have to worry about it, mm -hmm. which, which is awesome. And I think that it's great that he's using Indiegogo to try to raise money for mm -hmm. it. He's collaborating with alumni. This is like exactly what we want to see. Right. Um, I, I, I think that people who want to drug someone are probably going to find a way to do it. I mean, but if, if this slows them down a little bit, cuts down on the number a little bit, then yeah. that's, that's awesome. And I think if you can get this instated in enough places, it definitely has the possibility to really cut down on that. Because when I first heard of this and I started thinking about it, I was thinking, what are you going to do? Like, take your own cup to a party? Take your own oh, cup yeah. to a bar? He's not just trying to sell this to individuals. His goal is to convince bars, clubs, and colleges to make drink savvy the new standard. And so they would have it hopefully in college health centers and then have bars nearby campus stock them as well, which I think if, if, if he gets that to happen, that really has a chance of cutting down on this. Because if you go to a bar and you know that no matter what cup they're drinking out of, somebody will be able to tell if you've slipped them a date rape drug, yeah. I think that really has a potential to, to cut down on that. I just imagine like the first week that this is deployed, guy like hands a girl a drink and she's holding it and it turns like bright pink. That's an awkward moment. Oh, God. Um, but yeah, totally, bars are going to like, I, I think that as long as the cups look cool, like they're going to make martini glasses and stuff like that, I don't see why they wouldn't. A lot of girls will feel more comfortable going to the bar that has something that lets them know if they're going to be date raped. So okay. it could actually be a selling point for the bar. Who knows? Yeah. What they need to do is make it physically heat up in your hand so you cannot hold the glass. <laughs> it breaks on the floor and you're saved. Or just have the letters do not drink appear <laughs> on the outside of the cup. This guy's a douche. Avoid. <laughs> Danger, Will Robinson.